What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 21-22 Tops Finest Bundesliga Soccer just sold out. This is a hobby edition, 8-box case break, random teams number one. And again, guys, this is an early bird uh, free spot giveaway. So if you buy one of the first 12 spots, get entered to win a free spot. 18 total spots there, all cards ship. So, uh, Lewis actually got the remaining 15 teams and sold it out. But only the first 12 get a chance at a free spot. So... Here they are right here. <clears throat> so basically just Kennard, Andy, and then Lewis with the last 10 there. And whoever gets that number one, we'll paste your name here, give you the free spot, and then it'll be 18 spots now. 18 clubs right there, teams. Here we go, guys. Let's roll it. Five and a four, nine times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. And nine times. Nine times. Lewis. There you go, man. Congrats. So there you go. That's your free spot. So that should make 18. Now we're using the same dodge ruler nine times on the names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Lewis down to end. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got uh, S or F S V down to Leipzig. <clears throat> and actually, the way it played out was perfect, actually. So, Lewis, you have every team minus Kennard with uh, TSG, Hoffenheim, and then Andy with RB Leipzig. And again, I'm not the best in soccer, but I do know some of these players in Bundesliga that are pretty big. So I don't think we'll have any trades. I, I assume people are going to stick to what they got. Alright, clean up this background here and good to go. Alright, here we go guys. dust on me well like I said guys you get I believe two autographs per master box that's how fine this usually is and like I said there's gonna be a lot of number cards I did almost a case of this on Instagram yesterday some very nice looking cards if you love the color parallels you know from 
you know, tops and, and panini cards like Upper Deck, uh, Opeachy, you know, all the colors and stuff, you're going to love this product. Alrighty guys, here we go. We got a Jamal Mosalea, silver, or refractor I should say, Florian, that's a green there to 99. We're gonna just kind of put these in stacks and then we'll do them all at the end of every box. There's our first autograph, Daniel, for uh, FC Osberg, which would be going to Lewis, to 80. You got a Martin for a uh, Berlin, three fifty. Rookie Paul Wanner for Iran. Eunuch. Then we got Philip Leinhart, it's one fifty. A Dixon. To 300 there. We got Alessandro for DSC to 250. Got a little die cut. Danny Olmo and Roberto Massimo. Nice Jude Bellingham refractor. We're gonna get Roberto Massimo to 150. Simon Zoller. And we got an autograph here of Jorginho Rudder for TSG Hoffenheim. That's Canard Bolt that one. Jasper Lindstrom. We got a little yellow Stefan Ortega to 350. We got a black here that's looking really nice. Jermaine St. Juice to 199. And Leandro. For FSV. And there you go. So like I said, guys, a lot of number cards. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, twelve, thirteen number cards, including the autos. All right, we go here with the next box. Box two out of eight. Anything, Jason? 
No, I'm good, Ben. Alright, later. Alright, take care, man. You too. Paulinho, I love the black man. It should be one of ones. Marcus Duran, three hundred, and we got a Nicholas Dorsch, rookie black auto, number to two fifty FC Osberg, Orel, Mangala. Felix Matcha We have a Jamie it's 150 Elas Rami We got a Stefan Ortega. It's 150. Maulida. It's 350. Xavier. Schlager. Florian. Wait, then we have our first goal. Jamie Lewill uh Lewillen. Eighteen of fifty. with the gold as well.
All right, here we go. Next box. All right, we got Omir, Armor. Two two fifty. Got a black Jonas Hector. And we got an autograph here of Christopher Lenz. That is for uh, Frankfurt. Leandro. Nice, Erlen Halan. There you go. To 300. Going to Dortmund. Nicholas Dorsch. We got a Walturu Endo. Gunther. And then we got an autograph here of Jeremiah St. Just. Paul Sing uh, Sigun. To three fifty. Tomas Muller. We got Lucas Hernandez from Munich. Jonas Hoffman. Two fifty. go all right fourth box and then we'll be halfway through All right, next one. Here we go. Lucas Tosar. We got a Paulinho. And we got an autograph here for Elas. For TSG Hoffenheim. Mosa Diaby. Erlen along there. Inter strikers. We got a Silas. Katompa. 199. Dixon. Yellow. Number to 350. Takuma. Asano. Mosa, Diaby, Simon Zoller, and we got an autograph here of Connie, it's 99, Christopher, Nakunku, 300,
Massimo, Sosa, Angelino, Angelino, Genki, and Nico, Slaughterback, Slaughterback to 350. Alright. Halfway through. Remember, guys, like I said, a lot of numbered cards. At least 12 to 15 in every box. Aaron, what's going on, man? Looks like mixer fillers are selling out. One oh eight? Is it really gonna be that hot over here? If it's one oh eight where you're at hmm. most is still gonna be seventy eight, isn't that crazy? My mom's place would be around ninety. Hermosa Beach weather just doesn't change. It's always between the 60s and 70s. Like, never above 80. But, like, I'm in Long Beach and it'll be, like, in the 80s. Living by the beach, too. I guess you just get, like, all the... The... The wind and the cold from all the ocean, like, from a certain degree, right? Nice. Well, I actually... Uh, Sunday, for a couple days, Sunday, be heading out to uh, Laughlin for the next couple days until I'm back. Just for like two, three days. So, my mom and my sister, my nephew and niece and stuff like that are already there today. They're there Friday through Tuesday, but I won't be able to go till Sunday. So that should be fun. Rent some jet skis on Monday. Go down the Colorado River. That should be fun. Yeah, for the most part, I think next year, though, they're going to have to, like, <clears throat> allot some of the water to Lake Mead, if I'm correct. So this year will still be fine. Next year, I don't know how that's going to go. As you, as you know, like, Lake Mead is losing more and more water all the time. <clears throat> so I don't know how it's going to look for next year, but... Yeah, the Colorado River still has, has some nice stuff. My sister actually posted up a video earlier, and it looks beautiful right now. Let's see, watch. Water looks very beautiful right now. So, should be fun. But I don't know about next year, though. Jorginho, $3.99, Gawney, that's to $1.99, and we got an autograph here for Dortmund, Felix Paslak, for sure, man, it, I like laughing, it, it's just so much more chill, I love Vegas too, don't get me wrong, but it's like, 
I kind of like just to have a couple casinos there. You can still drink while you walk. You know, you got the river right there, right? If you don't want to get into a pool. So it's always chill, man. I've always loved going there. My, As a little kid, my parents had like a boat and some jet skis with my uncle. So we were always there as a little kid. So that's why I still like to go there. And it's like super cheap. Like I literally, I literally got my whole weekend like for free. <laughs> you know, because when you sign up for like the rewards and stuff like that for the casinos, I mean basically like free they want you to come and just gamble so they're willing to just give you free nights so it's even better almost but i wish i had a boat or like a ooh, nice marco rios i wish i had like a boat or jet ski or something but the rentals aren't actually too expensive anymore i think pre-covid they were kind of expensive because they also like charge you to put down money for in case of insurance you know kind of in case of some damage but now I think literally I think I paid last time like 50 60 bucks for like an hour or two and that's it that's literally all you had to pay so I'm like yeah it's kind of worth it right I don't really go too much often to like do all that stuff so renting isn't a bad deal at least anymore Dijan 300 and a green Christopher Lenz. Ridney, or Sydney Rybegger. Young star there for Leipzig. All right, guys, three more boxes. All right, here we go. Third to last box, guys. We got a yellow Robin Zenter, Zentner. Black Daniel. Caligari. And a Jude Bellingham. Nice green autograph there for Dortmund. Which I believe is going to Lewis. 7 of 50. Nice. Boturu Endo. Robert Lewandowski, Strikers. Nicholas Stark, or Nicholas Stark. Logan, what's going on, man? We got Eamon. Manuel Ryman um, I pulled about two or three Logan I did pull two out of fives two out of fives and we got an autograph here Becker and back-to-back -back, Arn Meyer 
That's a Rudy Gallagher up to 150 for SB Sal FC Salzburg. And that's Union in Berlin. Vicenzo Grifo. Yeah, the only rookie that I personally didn't pull that I think Chris and Joe pulled was Wander. I, I didn't see any Wander. But I pulled more wit than anything. I did pull a Torkelson, a Julio, but I didn't hit any Wanders, actually. Kevin Prince. We have Felix to 300. And Anthony Losilla to 99. Yeah, Aaron, are you excited for that? I, 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 uh, I truly want to like root for the Lions. You know what I mean? Like I always have. I felt like it's kind of like kind of like a curse, right? Just haven't really panned out and do well. But there was a lot of games, man. They could have easily won last year. But no, I, I love your, I love your head coach. I think he's a good. I think he's a a really good players coach. You know, obviously he's been there. He's done that. You know, right? He was a former player. Um, and obviously, you guys have some players, of course, that are trying to take that big leadership role. And of course, you know, I think Aiden Hutchinson's going to just do great. You know, he just seems like that kind of player that you draft, and there's just without question, as long as he's healthy, he's just going to dominate. But I didn't see the second episode yet. I was actually going to watch it tonight. I was going to watch it last night, but I got a lot of buzz in the chat about the Manti Teo documentary. So I was only going to kill one episode last night, but it was just so good uh, that I had to kill both last night. So I don't want to stay up past 3 a.m. But I plan to watch it tonight. Erlen Halan. But yeah, if anybody hasn't seen the Manti Tale doc on Netflix, definitely check it out. It oh, nice Ricardo Pepe. It was really, really good. And man, what a crazy sick person. The other person was, man. Great. Kristoff. Bumgartner. Otto. Sasa. 350. <laughs> I know. I know you do. I'm going to root for Goff just because you don't like him. I hope he just kills it for you guys. Just kills it. You guys give him a freaking big contract extension. And he's your quarterback for the next five years. <laughs> Vicenzo. Look, it's a contract year for him. He's he's gonna ball out, watch. He's gonna ball out. Leandro. Jurgen. We got Cohen. Manuel Ryman. But no, I'm excited for week one. I know they play the Eagles. I think the Eagles should beat you guys, honestly. But again, the Eagles, uh, sometimes they just flat, flat out just don't come out and play. So I'm nervous because the Eagles schedule seems pretty simple in the sense. But I think they can easily lose a couple of those games. But it should be fun, though, to see, like, Aiden Hutchinson go up against, like, Mylotta and, you know, Lane Johnson and stuff like that. See how that goes. And then, of course, how the offense does. I'll go. I think so, too. I think we're going to go as far as Jalen Hurts takes us. Felix Passlock. So that's what I'm really excited about. But I just feel like that could be a game that literally they can easily lose just because they're not playing hard enough or they just don't come out to play and you know just kind of off like honestly you know if the eagles are 
for the, for the most part healthy, don't you know kind of lose key injury players, you know, and play well, they they should easily win like honestly six out of the first seven eight games. Honestly, they should come out of there like at least six and two at best, you know. But then there could be games where they easily lose and then they come out of it like you know four and four or you know five and three where still good, but they should have won a couple of those games, you know. That should be fun, man. That should be a good week one. I think it's in Detroit, too, right? Man, I would love to go to that game. I bet you that game's cheap. Actually, it's probably not cheap because it's the first game of the season. I don't know, Logan. Are you excited for your Packers? I don't feel like if I was a Packers fan, I'd be that excited. It's like, yeah, you guys will probably win. You guys will probably win games again, but... What happens around playoff time is the thing. All right, last box here. Yeah, and that's that week one. Uh, Jordan, uh, Jalen Hurts told AJ, I'm not even going to throw you the ball today. And he actually didn't. Not one, one time. In that preseason game. You know? So, just imagine if you don't even have to throw the ball to A.J. Brown. How good their weapons are. You know, Devontae, Quez, Dallas Goddard, top five tight end, Robert Gumney. You know, it should be a fun season, that's for sure, on offense. Christopher. And then on defense, man, they got some great players, too. We have a Zidane, Cirque Dimmer, Julian Green, Paul Lanner, orange. That's like one of the first orange colors we got. Should be at a 25. Nice. Timothy Tillman. Well, I don't, I don't. I hope not, but I think he's still recovering, right? Because he tore his ACL late in the season last year, so I think that's why I think they're kind of being cautious with him. You know, there's no reason to to rush it if he's not fully 100. percent Robert Gumney. We have Christopher Kunku. And last autograph here is a Alisane. Let's play it. With how about a little yellow Erlen Halan? Fabian Close. We got Maxine or Maxence. 250. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So, like I said, a lot of numbered cards popping out of here, guys. So, always fun to rip some finest. This is Bundesliga Soccer. I'll do a quick recap of the bigger hits slash autographs really quick, and then I'll top load them too as well. So, this should be basically all the autos and the top hits here. Nice Ricardo Pepe there. There's the autos. Some nice, nice stuff right there. Erling Haaland, there's one gold. I was top loading a couple of the first autos there. Jude Bellingham. Appreciate you guys, jazbeescasebreaks.com.